So you are officially working from home now. And if you are working from a laptop, you've probably discovered that they are not a lot of fun to work from. Um, they are essentially an ergonomic nightmare. They are designed for someone whose elbows are coming out of their chin. Um, in no normal ergonomically correct workstation are you gonna find a monitor and a keyboard that are so close together in terms of uh, the height. So you've got your laptop uh, and maybe that's all you've got to work from and, and that's fine. I've worked from this laptop a ton um, there are a couple of little tools that I have that help make this whole thing a lot easier. So tool number one is a laptop stand. I think I got this on Amazon for like 12 bucks. So it just extends. These little, uh, it's got these little things on the side here. They come out and essentially act as feet to hold the laptop. So like this. And there we go. Now the monitor is up at a height that is much more comfortable for my neck. When it's down here, um, you just that even that little tip, you're gonna strain your neck right here and get all sorts of tension, headaches, and things like that. Uh, trust me, I've totally been there, and it's not fun. So with the monitor up here, you can relax a little bit and straighten your neck out. Of course, now you don't wanna be typing like this. This is even worse than where it was before. So get a quick little wireless keyboard, or get a wired keyboard. I mean, a wired keyboard is, again, like 10 bucks or less probably. Um, and a wireless mouse. I really recommend um, actually spending a little bit of extra money on the mouse. And by extra, I mean like this is like $35. And at Indelible, we, um, we buy these things by the like half dozen. Um, they're super comfortable on your hand. It's the uh, Logitech M705. Super, super comfortable on your hand. It has back and forward buttons by your thumb. So you can navigate you know, back and forth in your browser. And the wheel has two settings. So there's the normal like click setting and then you can unclick it and just kind of whiz it. Like, it just flies. So if you've got a really long document and you just need to get to the bottom of it, uh, you know, sometimes in web development you get some crazy long code um, or error logs that are 9,000 lines long. You just whip right through it and, uh, and it gets there. So with this setup, I can be a lot more comfortable. Now this is a, uh, just like a kitchen island so that even the, the countertop is a little bit high for where I wanna be with my hands. But if I had to work in this environment, I've worked in environments like this plenty, um, this setup is so much better on my neck and my head and my shoulders than working from the, the laptop and, and kind of hunching over the screen. Um, this is gonna be a lot more comfortable for you. Now, if you have a dedicated workspace, we're gonna show you a couple of other things that you can do um, that I highly recommend that are, again, relatively cheap. You're not gonna spend thousands of dollars setting up your workspace. But um, you know, really for under 100 bucks, you can get this, this type of setup going on. All right, so let's head over there and we'll do that. So if you've got your own desk space that you're going to try to utilize for working from home, there are a few things that you can do to optimize that space. Um, I am here, this is, this is my built-in workstation, which is really cool. We just moved into this house. It came like this, mostly like this. Um, and it was, it was a really cool setup. Mostly I would be working uh, in the evenings after the kids were in bed was when I would be doing my work and that changed very quickly. Um, so Indelible, we've been talking about putting uh, some office space in the basement, building something out down there. And uh, that's, we obviously don't have time for at this point. So here I am up here in this space where I've got kids room, kids room, living room, kitchen, laundry room right there. And gosh, the laundry room can be almost as loud as the kids room sometimes. So. Um, one of the first things that I recommend is a good set of over-the-ear headphones. Um, these are Rock Papas. I don't like them as much as I like the ones that we have at our, at our office. Um, so their, their cups are a little small. They don't quite cover my ear. They just push on it, um, which is fine for a while, but after a couple hours, it starts to hurt a little bit. Um, so these, I mean, they're good, but um, I recommend there's uh, Sennheiser uh, headphones that are, are bigger cup size, they kind of go right over your ears and uh, kind of seal out the rest of the noise a little bit better. So I'll have a link to those in the description and of course that'll probably be an affiliate link and all that. So um, those are, I highly recommend that. Make sure you communicate to your family that you're not trying to ignore them, you're just trying to do a better job focusing. Um, so headphones. A second monitor is really helpful for increasing your productivity. You can get your main work here on your what's in front of you, so you're generally keeping your body straight, but to your right or to your left, you can have uh, you know Slack or Teams or whatever you're using to chat with uh, the rest of your team. 
Um, you can have product requirements, so you can be working on whatever you're doing and check over here and get product requirements. I see people do this with spreadsheets all the time when they're trying to uh, you know, copy and paste data around. Um, so it's, it's really helpful to not have to switch windows when you can just switch monitors. So uh, there's another thing. Um, when I first started working here, uh, in fact, I just got this like Tuesday, a couple days ago, it's Thursday now. Um, I had my keyboard and my mouse up here and this, I'm a short guy, so this is about three inches too high for me. And again, I was getting that like shoulder crunch. Um, the other night I had such a, a crazy headache that started in my neck and kind of wrapped up around my head from all the muscle tension. And um, so I, I ordered this on Amazon. It took almost a week to come in, so hurry. Um, but ordered this thing, it was about $60. So again, not super crazy expensive. It's not. It's not even super fancy, it's just a big flat tray, since I know that this is a temporary fix. Um, but it can articulate, I can move it up and down, get it to exactly where I need it to be for my body so that I can be comfortable, which is huge when you're gonna be stuck in your seat for six or eight hours. You don't wanna be crunched up like this, you don't wanna be hunched over your laptop, you wanna be as comfortable as you can be while you're working so that you can continue to be effective and so that you're not super cranky all the time. Um, so those are my recommendations for your at-home workspaces and I hope that they're helpful. Uh, we'll continue to release information about uh, remote working. We'll continue to be uh, releasing best practices. Um, so we're trying to take the knowledge that we have uh, gleaned over the years and turn it into something that's useful for you guys. Um, so uh, that'll be at becomeindelible.com forward slash resources forward slash remote will be where it starts and uh, it may spider out. It really depends on how long this thing lasts and how much time we have to commit to these kinds of videos. Um, you know, given that everybody in the universe needs to be online right now, uh, we have a lot of other work to do. So uh, I hope this is helpful for you. I'll leave some of the links to the products in the description, which of course will be affiliate links just to cover myself there. Um, and uh, I hope to, I hope that this can be helpful for you. Thanks.